New tonight, people in Sydney have a plan to help the family of a three-year-old boy who died. Good evening, I'm Gabrielle Enright. James Brown is off. We first reported on the death of Avian Freeman earlier this week. Now, police said he had internal and external injuries and arrested his father. New Center 7's Brandon Lewis is live in the News Center. And Brandon, you've learned there's a lot of support for Avian's family. Gabby, there's not much you can say to comfort someone who has lost a child, but a Shelby County man wants Avian Freeman's family to know the community is thinking of them. He's a good kid for sure. It's a tough time right now for those who knew little Avian. It's something I never expected to happen. Jacob Prophet got to know Avian when his girlfriend Carissa used to babysit him. Here's a photo of Avian with her. And he was always laughing. Uh, he, I mean, he enjoyed being around me and Carissa. I mean, uh, he definitely... He definitely just was like that, a whole different type of unique baby. Jacob said Avian loved being around people and was just fun to be around. But the moment we heard about it, it really, I mean, it, it, like I, I was in shock. Since Avian's family is going through a lot, Jacob wants to help. He co-owns Infinite Details and Anna. They clean and polish vehicles. For every detailing job they get, they're going to donate $50 to Avian's family. The donation jumps to $100 for every polishing job. I wanted to help them out just because I, I really, I mean, I really feel bad. Jacob Prophet lives in Sydney and does not want something like this to define the city. And why we kind of wanted to help, we kind of wanted to be like, show like there's more people in the community that can help with this and show Sydney is more than just, I mean, the bad rep that Sydney has. I mean, there's good people in Sydney. And Jacob said you can call their shop or go to their Facebook page to set up an appointment. We'll have those details on WHIO.com. Avian's obituary said his family will have a private service for him. Live in the News Center, Brandon Lewis, News Center 7.